Let's make history. The area which would become Bayside, Queens, was originally settled by the Matinecock Native Americans, and that's going all the way back to 2000 BC. Then in the early 1600s, the Dutch had control of the region. Then in the late 1600s, of course, like everywhere else in New York City, the English took over, and one Englishman, William Lawrence, built the first home. It was a stone farmhouse, and he's the person who Lawrence Cemetery was named after. Some of his other relatives are supposedly buried there, as well as other founders of Bayside, Queens. Uh, I think George Washington's half-brother is also buried in Lawrence Cemetery. One of the original handful of towns, which was Queens County when it was established in the 1680s was Flushing and Bayside was part of Flushing. Not long after, certain people got together and they left and started their own town, which was Bayside. And that's when Bayside was named. Uh, it was basically a community of farms along the waterfront. This was in the 1700s. During the Roaring Twenties, it was like a rural resort. And it was the it spot for um, elite movie stars during this period to buy homes. Bayside was suburbanized in the mid 1900s. Many of the roads were upgraded and today they have the largest concentration of cops and firefighters uh, living in one area, which gives it that everybody knows everybody, small town feel, uh, very low crime there. <laughs> However, in 2002, a Gambino crime family member was shot in the leg outside of a Bayside restaurant. The main artery, the primary strip is Bell Boulevard, which used to be named Bell Avenue. And it was named after Abraham Bell, who was one of the founding fathers of Bayside. And he originally bought property there back in 1824. Now you can find lots of life on Bell Boulevard, uh, restaurants and uh, places to kick back, have fun and unwind.